Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 If you're looking for how to lock the docky gun, you're in the right place. So, basically, you need to complete the Deja Vu uh, Elusive Target Arcade Contract. I'm going to show you how to do it. You don't have to bring any equipment with this. For this particular guide, I'm going to show you how to do it with your default loadout. If you're exactly Mastery Level 1, you can follow this guide, no problem. So, from Level 1, we have Joanne Bay's Water for Level 1. And the complication for this is we've got additional people that see through one of the more disguises. Uh, but don't worry about that. The equipment we're going to use for this is obviously we're going to start in the parking lot. I'm going to bring along the default equipment like I said. Welcome and from Argentina. the very start, the first thing we need to do Joanne is get the invitation to the place itself. If you're wondering where I got this outfit from, I'll leave a link on the on the drop down card on the screen right now. I'll leave a link in the description on where to get this suit and how to get the suit. And yeah, so we've we'll got the invitation from there. We're going to show it to this guy right here. Give him the invitation. And now we need to go and get ourselves a bottle of Melbeck. And compared to the main mission, there's Melbeck everywhere. But in this particular mission, uh, they've removed several of the bottles from everywhere. So they're in very few areas. And one of the areas that it will be is right here. So just grab this Melbeck. We are going to poison this with a lethal poison. And so we have to go and retrieve that. But first things first, grab the bottle. Now we need to go up these stairs and get ourselves a disguise because we need to get into the main mansion building. That's where the lethal poison is going to be. So we're going to come over to this uh, area over here. We're going to crouch, press our bodies against this wall, and then subdue like that. Knock him out, grab his disguise, and then head up the stairs. At the top of the stairs is going to be another waiter. He's going to uh, be an enforcer to your disguise. Just be key, keep an eye out for him. Just avoid him. He's right there. Just run past these two guys. They're going to ask you to frisk, but don't worry about it. Just run straight past them and you won't have to worry about them. Now we're going to circle away around the house until you get to a pipe that leads to the roof. We're going to use that pipe to climb onto the roof, obviously. And then we're going to get to the opposite side of the roof and get inside the bedroom door. So first we're going to climb this pipe right here. Once you get on the roof, it's going to be a trespassing zone. And the only enforcers up here are the main targets for the main mission. Don't worry about them. We're just going to cross the roof right here to the other balcony on the opposite side. Climb onto the balcony, get into the room, and grab the car keys from the side of the bed. Enter the bathroom and grab the lethal poison pill jar. Now we're going to exit the same way we came into the room. Climb along these uh, this roof right here and drop down. And then jump over this fence. And then we're going to go back down the same steps that we climbed up. And there's going to be a couple of enforcers down at the bottom of the stairs. All the waiters are pretty much enforcers, so you just need to keep that in mind. The only difference between this and the normal time that we played this one before. So we need to get this waitress to go away first. So we're going to stand right here. And when we have the opportunity, we're going to place the bottle of wine. And then blend in. So you'll have a serve wine option. So go ahead and do a serve wine as option as a waiter. And because Joanne Bayswater is literally to the right of us having a conversation right now... We've already missed her loop, so what we have to essentially do is just wait for a good six minutes or so before she loops back around. So, I'm going to skip to that point. I don't want to make you wait. Uh, but yeah, that's what we have to do. So as she loops back around, just go ahead and poison the, the uh, bottle of uh, the glass of red wine, I should say. She's going to come over and make a comment about the mailbag. Just go ahead and click serve when, she, when the option appears for you. And serve the poison glass of wine. So she's going to die there on the spot for a lethal poison. Even if her body is found, don't worry about it. You'll still return your silent assassin. Yeah, but once we exit the blender spot, just be wary of all the enforcers that are in the area. The top of the stairs to your left is going to be a female waitress. She's going to come down. She's going to be a, an enforcer as well. So we're just going to hide from her before we head up the stairs. Here she is. So we're just going to hide here for a second. We're going to take the car as the exit. Yates's car. That's why we grabbed the car key a little bit earlier on. So same thing as we did before. Skip the tr the uh, the fresh thing. Just run straight through. And I'm head over to right toward the car over here, and there we go. Level one will be completed, and we're gonna start assassin rating for it. Easy peasy.
Level 2 is the Collector, and he's taking place in Dartmoor. We have to retrieve the painting. Well, we don't have to, it's an optional, optional objective, but I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to start at the main road as default equipment, just like I did for level 1. And the first thing we need to do is just head towards the house. So, uh, we're going to go and retrieve the painting first and foremost. And because the additional complication of the added in forces, it makes it a little bit tricky at the end compared to what it was before. But uh, it's still it's still achievable, just the same way as we used to do it. So there's no real drama to that. But like I said, the first things first, we need to, need to get to this house. So there's going to be a pipe right there, just opposite this wall. You want to go ahead and climb, climb that. And then you're going to walk along this ledge. Right around the corner, and then climb through the window. Once we're in the house, we're going to come through this door right here. Grab the uh, feather duster that's just on the table. Go into the bathroom, throw the feather duster in the middle of the room. Press our body against the wall. And then wait for the uh, housekeeper to come investigate. Once he gets near us, we're going to have a subdue option pop up for us. We're going to subdue him from around a corner, just like that. And then put his body in the nearby closet. Take his disguise. Retrieve the uh, feather duster and head upstairs. Once we're upstairs, we have an enforcer in the corridor. Two enforcers in the room and two enforcers outside. So what we're going to do is just wait for, uh, wait for this enforcer to go past us before we head into the room. The other enforcer in the room is sipping his bottle of water. So meanwhile, all this is taking place. We're going to grab this letter opener here. That's just on this little table. And then put it away. And then head up these stairs. Here is the painting that you need to steal. So go ahead and retrieve it. Good. And now retrace your painting. steps. Now take care of the target. Just make sure when you come all the way down the stairs, just follow my path. Because there's going to be enforcers along the way. So you just need to be careful with that. So there'll be first an enforcer right there. So we're going to head left. Come through this door. There's going to be a stairs right in front of you. So go ahead and take those down. Then take a left. We're not going to pass through the bathroom because there's going to be an enforcer through there as well. So... We are after going to take a right and come through the main main hall down here. Through the left door. Outside there's going to be an enforcer as well. He's also a housekeeper. So we're going to give him a wide berth just to get past him. The detection meter is quite slow. So I don't have to worry about it too much. But once we're over here, we're going to create a distraction. Just throw anything you've got on the floor right here. Even if you can use a coin or whatever. Just to grab the attention of the security guard, we need his disguise. So we're going to wait for him to come over to investigate the noise, and then we're going to knock him out, put his body in the crate, and then take his disguise and his weapon that he drops on the floor. Interesting. Once we've done that, now we're going to head to the greenhouse. Again, be wary of all the enforcers that are around this greenhouse. There is quite a few. And once the security guard walks away, we need to basically get in the greenhouse. But his personal guard is an enforcer. He didn't used to be, but now he is. So what we want to need to do is the target's going to come to this door. He's going to turn around and have a conversation with his security guard. That is going to give us the opportunity to put the weapon on the floor. And that's going to tell the guard to, you know, go away with the, with the weapon. However, he doesn't stop on this occasion. So we're going to have to follow his entire loop until he comes back through the greenhouse once again. So uh, we're just going to observe from a distance and wait for him to come back through the greenhouse and then 
I'll show you what to do. Now he's coming back out of the greenhouse once again. We're just going to again wait for him to turn around. There we go. Once he does that, we're going to close the door, place the weapon on the floor, and then open the door so the guard behind him sees. And once he gets a question mark above his head, you know you spotted it. And in the meantime, Cody Haynes, our target, is going to come in this direction. So what we're going to do, when, before he walks past, we're going to throw a distraction to get him to come over by this crate, just like we did with the security guard. And it's just as simple as basically distract him over here, and then take him out any way you want to, hide his body in the crate, and then head to an exit. Target eliminated and the painting secured. Well done, Frozen. The money is being transferred to your account. Now find an exit. Any exit is available to you, but the problem is there's going to be a lot of enforcers in this disguise on the way out. You may want to switch back to the housekeeper disguise. Um, he may or may not have more or less enforcers. I know that isn't very clear, but I didn't check, so I don't know. So I'll just use the security guard disguise all the way home over here. But yeah, there is a fair few enforcers between us, but like I said, their, their detection meter is very slow to detect you anyway, so I won't worry about it too much. It's a lot different to when you're trespassing and the detection meter is super fast at that point. And if you're in a hostile area, then it's even faster, so when you're just in a disguise and you've got an enforcer, it's not too bad. So you don't have to worry too much. But that's essentially how you do level 2 of Deja Vu's. Let's move on to level 3. And level 3 is going to be the Heartbreaker in Mendoza. So yeah, same complication, it's just additional enforcers. We're going to start at the winery viewpoint and everything else is going to be default loadout. It seems you've arrived From the start we're going to turn around Your and knock out this guy at the gate to subdue him. Leave his body there, you don't have to move it or anything. Michelle Let's go ahead and grab his disguise I doubt you can and his weapon if you'd like to complete the outfit. History. But given his intentions, it's better than silverware. Now we need to make sure we get down to where the car park area is so we can grab some poison out of a van. There's going to be a lot of enforcers around there, so it's kind of like making your way through a maze. There's an enforcer right here and an enforcer coming on the road. So they've increased a lot of enforcers just for this disguise because it is a powerful disguise for this map. You can pretty much get anywhere. So there's two, two enforcers in this area, one in the van. So first things first, we're going to come th right through the middle and head it over to the right. And then we're going to come through this middle area because this guard here has his back to us. Just be careful again. Grab the, uh, the document and grab the pill jar. Keep an eye on the placement of the guards and basically retrace your steps the way you came in. Should be able to make it out, no problem. Yes, sir, I have the files. Sorry, I There's two off, I... enforcers here as well, in front of the limousine and on the van. But you don't have to worry about too much about those. You can run straight past these. Our target's right down there at the, at the edge of the uh, the dance floor. The problem is he's having a conversation with the, with his two ladies with him at the moment. So it's a little bit of annoying. I, I wanted him to walk away, but he bangs on this conversation for a while, so... I'm going to skip to the point where he actually starts walking away because we need to approach his uh, one of his ladies and give the document to one of them. So once he starts walking away, just give just give the uh, document to one of the women, and then uh, you can literally just leave it at that. That takes care of itself. So the target is going to basically be by himself in the next section. So that's the reason why we're sending his uh, his followers away. And now we're going to head to the cinema area. Previously, used to be have to used to have to get frisk to here. That's what I was expecting, but uh, it seems that they fixed it. They have actually fixed it. Once we're down the bottom of the stairs, we're going to make sure that everyone's got their backs to us while we do this. So we're going to throw a coin in the opposite side of the room and poison the glass of wine. And once that's done, that's literally it, really. To that will take care of itself. So the target will come down the stairs. He will sip a, 
a drink from that glass of wine and he'll uh, get poisoned and that'll take care of that. Now, we want to exit through the wine field, but again, nearly everybody on this wine field is an enforcer. So we're going to take the long way out, so we're just going to circle all the way around the left side. One of the patrolling guards is also an enforcer, so a lot of enforcers for this disguise. And here, the, here is the gate, the exit is on the left, just at the side of this guard on the left. So we just hang out here for a little while, uh, the, the, the target, like I said, is going to take a minute or so to take care of itself but once that target has been taken care of we can exit the map and get a assault assassin rating so easy as that because they said they were going to make some changes to these uh, this loose target arcade this seems to be one of the uh, changes so i'm assuming the, these master mode changes that they've added for these uh, hitman 3 maps this is one of them so these extra enforcers are probably there on master mode on the on mendoza now I wouldn't be surprised, and this is basically like a testing field to see how it goes. Eliminated. But Expect doesn't seem too bad. But there we go. Silent Assassin for level 3. And once you finally finish this, you'll get the challenge of completing this Elusive Target contract pop up, as well as the challenge for uh, unlocking the rubber ducky gun. There we go. So it's a nice assassin for level 3. So if you are interested to see what the ducky gun looks like in action, here it is. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members, Bedry, Wandering Wendy B, Constantine Mueller, Mark Davis and Paul Owen for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for all your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.